Yo, we are back. Clockwork, Pi Pico Calc. Yeah, so what's the latest? Been playing around with this wonderful chip that we have in here. Luck Fox Lyra. Lyra has been beating me up, to be honest with you. And I don't know if I like the reward at the end of the rainbow, but did get it working after a few tries. I'm on a Mac and really it requires some Windows tools to make it easier. But that's neither here nor there. I do have a little SD card slotted in for a additional 128 gigs. I'll briefly demo that. And then I recently saw something that piqued my interest. And we'll have to put this chip back in the 2W, Pico 2W. So looking forward to getting that back in and maybe checking out this little mod that we have, I guess an un unmac or something like that. Uh, I haven't tried it at all, but it will have to be quick because I have other stuff to do. All right, so first, let's see if we can power this on. Not staged at all. Haven't turned this on in a few days, so let's see. So we are booting up full Linux. I do like that. That's that's why I was going with this particular chip. All right, so we do have a little menu here. Maybe let me bring you a little bit closer. Okay, so we do have some games on here, so you can go to games. Uh, let's see, DOSBox, ready. So yeah, some cool little imagery and such. Uh, you can actually play around, new game, begin game. And you can run around and all that sort of stuff. Do stuff. All right. So I think escape. Do I really want to quit? Yeah, I do. Uh, yes, end game. I'll press Y. All right. So, so we are out of here. I don't even know how to get out of here. How? Yes. I really want to leave. <laughs> uh, that happens only. Only kids truly enjoy this. All right. So somehow I really don't feel like messing with this guy. Let's see. So what does it say? Uh, thank you for playing. I should be able to just press exit or something. And maybe it will take me out of here. Okay. Yeah. Exit. Exit was the key. Awesome. Uh, what else is in here? Uh, Wi-Fi, we won't go into that. Python 3, of course. Absolutely love that. You can get around the uh, OS quite easily onto the SD card. Uh, pretty fancy uh, development here. I'll have to find the uh, name of the repo that I got this from, but definitely somewhere on the Clockwork Pi forum. So, anywho. So, I really do like it. Uh, what we'll do is we'll power this guy off. And we'll get to the screws. So, the question is, how have you guys been doing? Been doing alright? Have any cool... Pro oh, yeah. One important thing for this particular chip, one battery. Found out the hard way. It will start uh, frying itself. Um, essentially, it can only take 3.3 .3 volts. And, uh, yeah, that is it. Uh, don't be like me. Did I burn anything down or damage anything? No. Could I have done that? Yes, definitely. Definitely could have. All right. Fairly easy to take off. The key is to 
hold the board down in several places. So I'm using the claw grip like I'm cutting an onion or something. And I need to apply some pressure up here as I'm pulling. And I don't want to break the board, a little bit of wiggle. Got one side, okay, got both sides. So he's off. We'll get our 2W back on. But the key, the key is to have patience. There we go. That's what you want right there. He's in there. Let's go. All right, let's get that out of the way. So the board's in there. It's should be good, minus the SD card. So let's pop that out. Pop an old one in. I have no idea what's on there. All right. So, do I remember what's on here? No, I don't. Since I'm such a kind guy, I'll save you a little bit of pain, unless you like pain. I did not get Unmag working, unfortunately. So, if you do want to see that part, just skip to another one of my videos and have a great day. But if you do want to experience the pain, stick around until the end of the video. I would love to have you like, sub. We should be able to boot up as our Pico is preloaded. I hate to lose you. You were so good to me. But I can always flash to you again sometime soon as I'm looking for my handy tool here. All right, so we are going to flash over shortly. So you load it and we'll press down this wonderful button here. Boot SEL, where is my good old micro USB? Come to me, sir. Nope, that's not it. Where are you? Definitely around here somewhere. Here you are. Let's get you back. Ready to go. All right. So we don't put it all the way in. We'll hold down the button. Gently, of course. Don't use something that would cause a hole. And we should be able to let go. All right. Let's see if we can get over to our computer. Maybe. All right. So this is the repo. And see my device do I have my firmware ready and we'll do this in two steps so they do have two different types they have two for the Pico 2 and two for the Pico 1 so we're going to go for the 320 by 320 to see what the no scrolling looks like and I will demonstrate that very shortly once I get my files organized. Put that in there, okay. All right, so I do have my firmware downloaded and I'm going to move this over to my RP2350, AKA Pico 2W. Let's see if it eats the file. Hope it does, 2.9 megabytes. Uh, 
All right, it ate it. That is a good sign. What I mean, it it ate it. It it disappeared from uh, from my uh, view. It ejected itself. That would be a better term. All right. So now for the moment of truth. Question is, will the pico calc boot up straight away? Will it? I don't know. So we will disconnect it from the serial power. Let's see what happens. Drum roll. Man, I might have to do some work on this one. So unfortunately, I did not get it working. I really don't like that. But if anyone knows how to get a Mac to work, please get at me. I would definitely appreciate it. I hate unfinished business. Until next time, I'll catch you later. Peace.